Finding the y-intercept of an exponential function is not so mysterious. Uh, the y-intercept of an exponential function is just like the y-intercept of any function, even like a linear function. I mean, the y-intercept is just where it crosses the y-axis. So it means the same thing. So um, what is the key to things crossing the y-axis? Well, um, at the y-axis, the value of x is 0, right? x equals 0 at the y-axis. So if you want to find the y-intercept of something, for example, an exponential function, set x to 0 and see what you get for y, right? So here's uh, the graphs of um, two exponential functions. Um, y equals 2 to the power of 2x plus 1, and y equals... Uh, 2 to the power of x. Uh, just two examples here for you. So these are exponential functions because uh, there's some base raised to a power which includes the variable x, right? So let's set uh, let's set these equal to zero. I mean, you can see the y-intercept right there, but let me show you why that is true. Um, let's just start with a simpler one. Y equals 2 to the power of x. Well, at the y-intercept, x is equal to 0, so let's just set x equal to 0. y equals 2 to the power of 0. We're just plugging in 0 for x. Uh, what is anything to the power of 0? It is 1. So anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So y equals 1. So the y-intercept of this exponential function is, w is y equals 1, which is right there, right? So you can see visually that I'm make, not making things up. This is really true. So let's try this dude over here. Um, switch colors to make it interesting. Y equals 2 to the power of 2x plus 1. Um, let's plug in 0 for x. Two times 0 plus 1. All right, so 2 times 0 is 0, uh, plus 1 is 1. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 1, which is equal to 2. So the y-intercept of this guy is y equals 2, which you can see visually there. So if you want to find the y-intercept of anything, including an exponential function, try just setting x to 0. Um, and seeing what you get for y. And that'll be your y-intercept. All right, see you later.